Hello everyone. This is going to be a quick video review for the SEMO S-Line TPU cases. Um, I have one of each, clear and red. Just like all TPU cases, they're very thin and they're flexible. Um, but they are a little bit different from a silicone case. This is a blue uh, silicone case from Verizon. Um, they look very similar, and yes, they're both flexible. The TPU is just a little bit stiffer, and it has a little more stickiness or more grip to it, whereas a silicone case is going to be actually quite slippery. Um, speaking of uh, textures, uh, the SEMO S-Line case kind of has two different textures to it. You've got a, a frosty texture on the back here, um, and actually it's, it's kind of slick. It doesn't provide as much grip as the rest of the case. Um, and then you've got the clearer, more traditional TPU kind of uh, sticky, clear part to the case. And you can see the, the little shape here, the S-Line, hence the name S-Line TPU case. So let me bring in another TPU case just to show you a little bit of a difference. On the left here is a cruiser light TPU case. You can see there's a slight difference in the cutout of the holes at the top here. We've got three small holes as opposed to the SEMO S-Line case which is just one large cutout. And on the cruiser light there is a cutout for the distinct uh, microphone on the back of the Droid Razor down here. This is a noise cancelling microphone. Uh, and it works along with one of the other main microphones on the back for when you're, you know, you're shooting video. It it helps to record the audio, and su supposedly this is going to help cancel out noise. And when you stick the SEMO S-Line case on it, the case actually covers that up. As you can see. So as you already saw, taking the case off and putting the case on is actually very easy, very quick. It's uh, just a quick off. And then you can go from either side. You can start at the bottom, and you work. You can just kind of pull the top on, or the other way around. So it goes on really easily. As you can see, it adds almost no thickness to the razor itself, and retains the full shape of it. It's actually a very snug fit. And the, as you can see, the lip kind of goes just around the top of the phone. However, none of the screen is actually covered up. I am able to access all parts of the touch screen at all times. As we saw earlier, the little door to the micro SD card as well as the SIM card is available when the case is on. Um, so one thing that uh, that really differentiates this from the other TPU cases is along the side here, if I can show you. It's sort of a diamond shaped uh, raised pattern. It's, you know, it's, it's still made of the same material but it has clearly been altered so that it has a grip to it and it goes along the right side as well. So that when you put it in your hands, it really provides a lot of resistance. I thought this was actually one of the best parts of the design of the case. Uh, in fact, I wish that pretty much all TPU cases had this feature. So you, you've got you got something that's nice and, and smooth along the back and the bottom, and then when you're gripping the phone, it provides grip in just the right place. And I think this is what really gives this case an edge over other TPU cases. So let's see if the buttons are easily accessed. We'll put on the clear one just for a little bit of variety here. As you can see, put on the clear one. It also has the same you know, side grips. It's the same design all over. Uh, along the buttons here, um, the power button and the volume rocker buttons are actually covered up by the TPU case, but they're easily accessible. And yes, you have to do the sound effects when you make these videos. So as you can see, I can easily go up and down with the volume rockers, turn off, on, off, on the phone. Uh, there's no inhibition of being able to actually uh, use the side buttons there. The clear case tends to show off the back of the razor a little bit. You can kind of see a little bit of the, the Kevlar texture to it. Um, I don't know if the Kevlar means they can stop a bullet, but you know it's a pretty cool design. So you can see um, the, the, one of the main differences between the red and the clear one is the ability to kind of see the phone's features. This is being taken with a naked Droid Razor. There is no case on it, so there is nothing obstructing the noise canceling mic. And we are actually over Interstate 4, so what a better place to test it out. I'm going to hold it at arm's length and uh, continue to talk and see if 
you can tell the difference. So this is with no case on, and so there's nothing, there's nothing obstructing the, the noise canceling microphone on the Droid Razor. And uh, so we're gonna see if there's gonna be a difference. Now I'm recording with a, the SEMO S-Line TPU case. Um, and as you saw from earlier in the video, the TPU case of the SEMO S-Line series covers actually the, the back of the phone and the noise canceling microphone is actually covered up by it. So once again, I'm holding the camera at arm's length and I'm going to attempt to just talk in my normal voice with a bunch of background noise. Below me there is uh, Interstate 4, we're in Central Florida. And so I can, yeah, I can actually see where the hole is covered over. It's, uh, so we'll see if there makes any kind of a difference. One issue that people consider before they buy any case for their phone is, will it fit in the car dock? We have here the, the mount for the car dock. This basically suctions to the windshield of your car and then holds your phone in there for navigation purposes. I can, this is the naked razor. You just kind of pull this back, snaps into place. You push in the little adapter and the navigation application comes up. So getting the phone, the naked phone in and out of the adapter is very easy. Now, will it go in with the SEMO S-Line case on. I've tried and tried and tried and can't quite get it to get into the car adapter. Um, some people have said that if you break off um, a certain piece of the plastic here that you can fit the phone with the case into the adapter, but I'm not going to break it. Um, I figured it's just so easy to, excuse me, just take the case off, put it in. How hard is that? And besides, even if you did manage to be able to fit it in there with the case on, um, it's going to be a, quite a struggle while this thing is attached to your front windshield. It's just not worth it. So you're either taking it out or the universal solution. I bogarted two of my girlfriend's hair rubber bands. This actually works very well with the OtterBox Defender case because there's no way you can get it in there with an OtterBox on. And there you go, you just kind of maneuver the rubber bands out of the way and it's not as pretty but it gets the job done and then, as you can see you can drive as recklessly as you want that thing is not coming out. So you can either take it out of the case or you can use the rubber band approach, your choice. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Um, in conclusion, I would say that this is probably the best TPU case that I own. I actually own seven cases for the Razer. Um, my, the shell holster combo is my personal overall favorite because it has the little kickstand that I can use to watch Netflix. Um, but for TPU cases, um, I gotta tell you, the, the SEMO S-Line case is probably the best overall and mostly due to these, like I said, these side grips right here. Um, it really makes the, the phone feel secure in your hand. Um, now, y yes, this portion here is going to be a little bit slippery, so if you rest it like on your the passenger seat of your car, it will slide around a little bit. Um, but once the phone is in your hand, it feels quite secure and it definitely gives it a lot more grip than a naked razor and I would say that it also gives significantly more grip than a silicone case right here. So um, and right now it is selling on Amazon.com for about six bucks and so it actually is one of the least expensive TPU cases so you really you can't go wrong with it. Uh, I highly recommend it. Thank you.